We're just going to move into the cardio section. Now, using your blue mats, we're going to actually use this as kind of a marker. But don't worry if you can't clear it, but we're just going to use it as somewhere to put the hands as a kind of a focus point. So coming down onto the floor, we're going to place one hand in front of the other and come into an upright position. And we're just going to try ever so gently just to jump to one side, jump to the other, jump to one side, jump to the other. Again, if you can't jump as far one way to the other, it doesn't matter. We just want to get some sort of little jump to the side. So you can just do small movements, small steps. OK, great. So if we start with JR. I'm sure he's going to clear the mat for me. Sure. All right, nice and steady. So about 30 seconds, guys. We're going to set the timers for now. OK, let's go. That's it, nice and low, don't have to go so high. Good. As you can see, JR's keeping really nice and solid here in the arms, taking it nice and easy. Just draw your belly button in, guys, as the lower back's taking a lot of load. Also, the abdominal wall's working very, very hard. Excellent. Okay, good, Suze. Wow, we're really bouncing up and down here. You can keep it a little bit lower if you want. Just five more seconds left, guys. Hang in there with me. I know this is a tough exercise, but very beneficial. And relax. Kid. That got the blood pumping, eh? Certainly did. Yeah, we're all looking a little rosy now. That's perfectly normal. When your head's at that angle, we do get a bit of a blood rush. Great, Susie. What was the high ones about? I could only do it high. A bit, a bit of variety, yeah? yeah? No, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Whatever way you can hop to the side, is not a problem. Naturally, if you go a little bit higher, you're going to come down at more of an angle and probably work the shoulders more, as you may have felt. But yeah. If you keep it nice and low, it's just the same. It just it takes the load more so off the shoulders. Great, so our next little piece of cardio we're going to throw in there is alternating leg and arm raises. Now, this does look a little odd, but I assure you it works very, very well. So we're going to go from here to here, here to here. Again, it is a bit strange, but works wonders. Okay, right, Jay, so if we pop you into this position, we're gonna see if we can do this around about 45 seconds to a minute, guys. I mean, if you feel like you've got more in you, feel free to go on a little bit longer. If not, just stop, pause, take a breather, and wait for your heart rate to calm down a little bit before continuing. Okay, Jay, let's go. Let's start your game. One, good. Looking good, see Jay's keeping nice ahead, He's not letting yourself drop to the front, it's just keeping nice and upright, keeping it light, no big fuds. Susie's doing very well over here as well, she's not bouncing up and down through the ceiling. That's it, Susie, nice and steady. Hang in there with us guys, I know this is a tough one as well, but just keep going, keep seeing it through. Ten more seconds left, fantastic work. Great Jay, how are you doing? Yeah, good. And five seconds left, guys. Keep it going, keep it going, come on. Yeah. I'll finish them off with you. And relax, <laughs> yeah, well done, that was brilliant. Okay, that concludes our cardio, guys. We can do a little bit of work now on the core. So if you'd like to get down onto your mats, onto the floor. Okay, so we're gonna try and target the lower abdominals. We're gonna try, kind of separate that area from the belly button area, just down a little bit. So if we go down onto the floor, Gonna lay in this position. Now keeping the back as flat to the floor as we can by tilting your pelvis backwards to try and flatten your back. We're gonna hold it in that position. We're gonna raise our right leg, then our left leg. And then lower the right leg, lower the left leg, lift the right leg, lift the left leg. Lower the right leg, lower the left leg. So we're just gonna go through this kind of movement pattern. When we get to around five each side, we're then gonna do the reverse. So then we're going to lower the left, lower the right, raise the left, raise the right. All sounds a little bit technical, but I assure you a few times around it becomes second nature. All right, cool. Let's hit the mat. <laughs> All right, so coming down into this position, keeping your back nice and flat, Jay. All right, so really help support and stabilize you. And let's lift the right leg first and the left. Right leg down, don't touch the floor, that's it. Left leg down, come on. Keep them around about six inches off the floor, guys. When you come down, have a nice little gap from there, so that means the abdominals are working throughout, they're contracting throughout this movement. Vitally important. Put the foot down, pressure's off. Don't worry if you can't do as many. Excellent, Jay. So when we get to around about five, mate, we're just gonna go to the other side. Good work, buddy, that's it. Come down, come down. Nice and controlled. 
poker face. So you don't even know you're feeling it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> We've got that roundabout in here, yeah, that lower abdominal area. It really is a great eye selection exercise for the lower abdominals. Works wonders. Okay, so when you get to that, this is done. All right, great work. Sorry, Suze, I left you all over there on your own throughout <laughs> that. I trust you did all of them, yeah? I did and them perfectly all. as well? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, for the next one, you may want to make sure you're alone for this one, as this one is a little bit odd, vitally important for your core muscles and deep muscles, especially those of you who have recently had a baby. Do take this very, very slowly. Okay, so if I turn sideways, what we're going to do, we're going to breathe in and breathe out as fast as we can. If you kind of visualise you've got a candle, it's a little bit too far away to blow out, but you're just trying to really get it blown out. Again, I did say it's a little bit odd, but bear with me. So it looks a little something like this. As you can see, my muscles in my stomach are really contracting, relaxing lots and lots of times. This is all the little muscles that attach to your spine that support and stabilise you. Also, the muscles will come apart during pregnancy. So we're just trying to work them back together to keep them nice and strong. So we're going to go for around about, say, 30 seconds with this. Your mouth will become sort of kind of dry. So if it does, just take a breather, have a little bit of water, pick up where we left off. All right, Suze, I'm with you. Yeah. All right, so if we spin around this way, so the other way, that's it. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. And if we go from there, so you're literally just trying to blow JR over and he's trying to blow you over. Let's see who's going to win. All right, guys, so around about 30 seconds or so. So breathe in, breathe out, and <laughs> <laughs> as much as you can. Good. Excellent. You can see everything's moving in JR. All of his stomach muscles are really relaxing, contracting, relaxing, contracting. Keep it going. I know it's tough. Keep it going. You okay, Suze? Yeah. Good job over here. That's great, Suze. Let's come back to JR. I think Suze is going to blow him over. A few more seconds, guys. And relax. Brilliant. Well done. You still standing, Suze? Yeah. Just about, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Good work, guys. So we're just going to go on to the cardio phase of the section. We're going to do what I call a side step with a kick. So if I turn sideways, we're literally going to step one way, kick, step back. Step one way, kick and back. So we're doing a nice kick and rotating the opposite way to which we kick. Okay, Susie, so you'd like to turn that way, Jay. We're going to go for around about 30 seconds one way, guys. So when you're ready, let's take a step to the right and kick and rotate. So really get that rotation. Good, Jay. So you can rotate more than that. Don't really spin round. There you go. Good. Stone face warrior. Excellent. There we go. <laughs> A mixture of facial expressions on display, guys. <laughs> Excellent. That's it. Keep those nice rotations. And 10 seconds left, guys. Hang in there now. And five seconds left. Keep it going. Keep going, Jay. Just a few more kicks. And that's us. Relax. Fantastic. All right, Suze. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're going to spin round and we're going to go through that the other side. Okay. So again, let's mimic that same action, just the reverse. All right, so take a step and rotate. Good. Step to me, rotate. See if we can really get that big rotation. Nice big rotating movement. Good, Suze. Cliding with you there. Good, that's it. Keep it going. Brilliant, that's it. Nice big loopy rotations. Okay, 10 seconds left, Susie. Hang in there, guys. A few seconds left. Step it out with me. Susie's hanging on. Come on, you two can too. And we're almost there, guys. You're going just a few more steps, Suze. And relax. Great. Good, Jay. Good stuff. All right, so the next exercise we're going to do is a squat with a little bit of a difference. So we're going to go down into the usual squat position, except for this time we're going to leave the floor ever so slightly, doing a little jump. Again, we don't have to jump very high, just a little jump. Just want to get that plyometric movement, getting the muscles contracting in a different way to what they're used to. Okay guys, we're going to work on this for around about 30 seconds. Again, if you get puffed halfway through it, don't worry, just have a little breather and carry on, or take longer over the jumps, just whatever feels good for you. Take it at your own pace. Okay? I think I'll start this with you. All right, so we're going to go down, come up, little jump. Go down, come up, little jump. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, Jay. So keep nice and upright throughout the movement, keeping strong. 
draw in the belly button in as well, guys. It's going to help once your back starts to get tired throughout this exercise. Fantastic, Jay. Good, sis. Nice jumps. Whoops, she's going to go through the ceiling, isn't it? That's it, good. Nice and bouncy. Fantastic. Five seconds left, guys. Just a few more jumps. A couple more. And relax. Good. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. That's great. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're just going to grab the Swiss ball and we're just going to move into some core stability movements. Okay, guys. So, as I say, if you grab the ball, so if you'd like to sit on top of the ball, okay, and take a slow walk down. Don't be scared of it, it's perfectly friendly. Now, those of you who are more familiar with Swiss balls, you may want to sort of keep a little further back. Just remember to keep the feet under the knees wherever you move to. This obviously is going to make it harder, this is more, more of an angle over the ball. But for us guys, we just take a walk forward, keeping it in this position. Keep it nice, medium, balanced, so it shouldn't feel too wobbly one way or the other. It should be nice and balanced. I'm going to place one hand over the other and keeping our tongues on the roof of the mouth and head back, which can do a nice, steady crunch. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, Jay, so as you can see, Jay's just walking slowly down the ball, keeping his feet back, keeping the knees nice and ankles in line. All right, Jay, so one hand over the other, tongue on the roof of the mouth to help support and stabilize his neck, and he's gonna crunch slowly up towards the ceiling, keeping that good alignment here. Excellent, Jay, that's great. Coming up nice and steady, a little hold for you as well. Lovely, and back down again. This feels a little easy, guys. We can either do more repetitions or we can make them even slower. So as opposed to going two seconds down and two seconds up, we can do maybe three seconds down, three seconds up. Or those of you who are even more comfortable, four seconds down, four seconds up. Excellent, Jay. So going for around about six to 10 repetitions. Okay, brilliant, great form throughout. Well done, everybody, that was great. Okay, so we can lose the Swiss balls for this last exercise. We're going to do what's called a pelvic roll. So if you would like to get onto the floor, and come down. Okay, guys, we'd like to go onto our backs, keeping the legs slightly outwards, putting the hands on the belly, picking up slightly from last week. We're going to breathe in, fill my hands with air, and as we breathe out, we're going to flatten our back against the floor whilst drawing the belly button in. It sounds like a lot of information, but you do it a few times, it becomes very, very easy. Looks like this, so. As you can see, when I'm breathing in, I'm filling my hands up with air, and as I breathe out, I'm drawing my belly button in, making my stomach as tiny as I can. Also, I'm trying to get into a pair of trousers that's too small, whilst flattening my back. Let's give it a go. I'm going to go for around about 10 repetitions of these. Again, just take the breathing nice and slow. Okay, Jay, let's see you in action. So breathe in, breathe out, draw your belly button in whilst flattening your back at the same time. As you can see when Jay breathes in, there's a bit of a gap there. As he breathes out, he's flattening my hand into this position. Breathe in, throw my hand up there, breathe out, flatten my hand. Brilliant. Nice and steady, breathe in, breathe out. Excellent. So what you're trying to do, guys, is make your belly as big as you can, and then as small as you can. You can literally reduce your waistline by a hell of a lot here, guys, by doing this exercise. And it's a real beneficial exercise for those of you with weak backs. As these muscles you're working here, the transversus abdominis, what support and stabilize your lower back, are key movers in this exercise. Susie, are you all done? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was good timing, wasn't it? Good stuff. So you have to get onto your mats, into feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a knee flexion, going into a backwards lunge, coming back to where we were, raising the other leg, coming to a backwards lunge. Okay, let's give it a go. If you set your clocks to around 45 seconds, we're gonna see if we can do this continually for that amount of time. All right, Sue, so you're gonna raise up, and then come down, let's go. And come back up. That's it, come onto your toes, the back foot, Suze. That's better, good, nice and low. 
Nice, honest repetitions from you, Suze, I want. All right, no half measures, guys. Let's really get as low as you can, really get those leg muscles burning. Okay, 30 seconds left, everyone. Good, Jay, as low as you can, that's great. Again, guys, if your legs are starting to burn a little now, you don't have to go as low. You just go into that half position or wherever is good. Or if you can't get that low, you can just come back and keep the foot on the ground like so. Okay, 10 seconds left. It's flying through them, guys. Hang in there, Suze. Five seconds left. One more repetition. And everyone relax. Lovely, excellent, well done. Good stuff, sir. Okay, guys, the next one we're gonna do is the squat thrust. So I'll show you this side on. All right, almost like you're climbing up an imaginary wall. Okay, so we're gonna do that again for 45 seconds. Okay, Jay. All right, so we put one leg forward, staggered, and the other leg back, fully extended. Slight bend in the elbows, and we're gonna alternate. Don't have to lift the feet too high off the ground, guys. Just keep them nice, smooth, plain. Okay, let's go. So nice and controlled, you see just bobbing up and down nice and slowly. Even the arms are really working here. It's a good all-round body exercise, this one. You've got CV, you've got upper and lower body working together in unison. Abs are working hard. It's a beautiful thing, this one. 30 seconds left, guys. That's it, Suze. Don't worry, you don't have to jump as far if you're starting to feel it. Do smaller steps. Good. Back to Jay. Okay. Keep going, guys. Just a few more. Dig in there. I know this is tough. 10 seconds left. Just a few more jumps. Keep it going. Come on, everyone. See them out with me. Almost there. And five, four, three, two, stop squat frosting. Lovely. Music to your ears? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Well done, Suze. As I say, if you do get tired, you don't have to do those long jumps. Just go a little bit shorter and take it a little bit steadier. Okay, great. If you'd like to grab your Swiss balls, we're going to do some core stability work now. Okay, so lying down on the side. I'm going to place one arm outstretched like so and the palm of the hand on the floor next to it. Put the ball between our feet. Use your hands to do so, or whatever way is best to get it there. And then literally, we're gonna lift our legs, we're gonna raise them off the floor slightly and return back down. It's a great exercise, we're really working the sides, guys. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, Jay, if you just lie along here. That's it, so you can use your hand to help you put the ball in. Just try and keep a nice straight line for me, yeah? That's it, get that hand down there. And when you're ready, firing from the core, let's lift this ball. One. Gonna go for around about eight repetitions each side, guys. Again, you don't need massive numbers of this. It's a tough exercise, really isolating an area of the body here. Where are you feeling that at the moment? Right. You're getting it in that area there? Good. We've really focused on this kind of area today, guys. All right, great. And spin around. You. you all right, Sis? That yeah. ball's not trying to escape you yet? Not yet. Okay, so keeping that position. That's great. So try and come back a little bit more towards me. That's it, so keep nice and in line, lovely. And then fire in the muscles, draw your belly in, and let's lift. Good. So you don't have to lift high, just as high as you can. Excellent. You feel that? Yep. <laughs> Good, brilliant, so it's nice and controlled. So as high as you can, come up. Good. It's around eight repetitions. Good, Jay. It's really fire for a minute, feel it in here. Yep, you feel that working? Excellent. Good one, guys. It's a tough exercise, that one. So keeping with the Swiss ball, we're just going to do some work for the back, just to really strengthen the lower back. Just show you this from a side angle. Okay. 
And actually, the further forward you go, the more difficult this exercise is going to be to perform. So we want you to sit quite far back on it so that your toes are on the floor in this one, guys. Hands to the temples. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can hit around about 12 repetitions. Okay, Jay, so just sit quite, and settle back quite into it. Don't lean too forward, obviously, otherwise you won't be able to perform. You will tilt forward, and we're focusing on this area here, guys. It's always good to kind of think about the area you're working, so it's all in here. Certain studies show that if you focus on a muscle, you get more blood to that area. That's it, as you can see, JR's not hyperextended, he's not coming excessively back, just taking his lower back through. Nice range of motion. So it lengthen on the way down, shorten on the way up, really working those muscles. But extend your back. That's it, breathe in, breathe out as you come up. Good, Jay. Ah, a side on Susie. <laughs> Good, that's it, little hold. Good, you all right? <laughs> Giggling away the there. Good, Sus. You going for 100 today? No. That's you. Good. Well done. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. Okay, guys, if you'd like to put your Swiss balls away, and I'll see you in the stretching area.